okay guys so basically i should have get this recipe out of the way i got about five recipe on my list which i have written down to get rid of and i said to myself i need to get rid of one of them even for today because you know when someone has asked you for something you want to try and and you know what i mean show the support as much as you can i'm not gonna be saying i'm one of the most perfect person on the planet but i love to deliver what i promise my audience and i saw about this was probably about four to five times <laughs> they has requested this recipe from me and i tell myself wow i um i need to get rid of the recipe out of my calendar i got one for wrinkle i will be doing that one very soon uh so but i try to use things which is very easy and simple and this one is just help you to you know what i mean like rub on your skin and help you in certain part at your skin all right um a lot of people use soap a lot of people use all different kind of things to wash their face and rub on their skin and all different kind of things but this recipe is, is a big up yourself a good vibes this one is just a simple little recipe which i um my audience has asked me for this recipe over the last couple of weeks and i said to myself i will um just big up yourself i've been watching it from the florida usa big up yourself make sure you get one a copy of the book you know florida all right make sure you get one of the book do not make the sale pass you 50 percent on the book at the moment all right yeah go over and um but amazon probably about eight pound it's not expensive but amazon let's go over to amazon and get yourself a copy of the book come on guys please like the video we got seven likes let's get it off at least 20 likes all right very quick recipe is not gonna be too long like a recipe which we did before um i did a lot of research upon this recipe all right yes thank you so much big up yourself over all the way over there in florida all right i hear that florida is a little bit warm at the moment right jamaica i don't know how true that is but that good vibes anyway you know sometime on your skin you see some little spot like dark spot on your skin and all them things that this is what this coming to do and i'm gonna show you exactly what you guys can also do at home so number one what you're gonna need to do is jump straight into it and show you because i didn't want to cook the rice so i'm using brown rice all right and banana skin you see brown rice and banana skin so what we're going to do i'm going to be taking out some of the brown rice one two three four four tablespoon of the brown rice and we're gonna try and remove all of the banana skin and i use one finger of banana skin all right yeah man see all right so as i say this is a recipe which i've been get requested for if you want me to make something for you know all you have to do is just leave a comment in the description box you know a lot of people use honey a lot of people use all different kind of things on their skin because a lot of people like natural things to use some people don't like to go and buy things in the supermarket or in the stores or in the pharmacy because they must say too much of things on it this is a natural way where you can do at home all right and then what we're going to do is simple like a recipe but very effective is use my little um hand blender right here and blend it like this you know what i mean don't put your finger inside of it please all right yeah man
See that? Look at that. All right. Just tip a little bit of the liquid on it. Because you know the rice. Suck the liquid. All right. Beautiful people, as you can see it for yourself. All right. Don't worry yourself. You always see a chef recorder. I know guys can do the same thing at home. I got this recipe over the last 10 working days now since I have the recipe. But, you know, they're busy. You know what I mean? You're busy and you're doing a lot of things. Yeah. So, so this is how it look. All right. Just tip a little bit of water upon it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I'm going to put about a teaspoon of water just to free it up. Now, this, I would say to you, just give it a try at home. If you're a person who, like me, I like natural stuff. No chemical. A little bit more water. All right. And just free it up. So this is how it looks. Lovely. Rice and banana skin. You know what I mean? Sometimes, right now, I could be cooking some rice and peas and chicken, but, you know, when the audience asks certain things, you're going to have to give them it. So what you want to do? Get your strainer. No, no. Um, hold on the first. You soak your banana, you soak the banana peel into... No, 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 no. No, you don't need to. You just boil it off instantly with some rice and water and cool it down but i don't think my one did cool on the right way yeah then what you want to do run it through your strainer like this now you don't have to um think that with the banana I got a lot of these kind of recipe you guys can give on, you know, natural stuff. How to, you know, I mean, get wrinkle out of your skin and all them things there. Rub it on your face and make your face smooth like butter and melt and all them things there. I got a lot of them stuff there for you if you want them. Please let Chef Ricardo know and I can do them for you. So you don't want this bit, all right? Good vibes. Yeah, I got another one, which is also very good. So this is how it look. All right. Do not soak your banana into nothing or your rice. Just wash off your rice. Don't even wash off your rice. You can use brown rice or you can use white rice. You can use black rice, whatever kind of rice you like to use. And do this at home. All right. And you're gonna see the chumless work what it's done for you at home, all right? But this is a requested recipe from one of my audience. And I, what I do, I make the video and I send it to them because they ask me for it. So what you wanna do next is get yourself some corn flour. Corn flour doesn't got nothing, guys. Nothing. Corn flour is good, all right? Yeah, man, corn flour is healthy and good. So what you want to do, go into it and grab yourself. A nice 
teaspoon of corn flour. All right, then I just want to mix it in like this. Now you can put um, milk powder inside of it, but I don't have any milk powder because where I went and didn't have it. So you can just do this, all right? All right, then after you do that, guys, what you want to do next is this. Get some lemon juice, roughly about a teaspoon, and squeeze it into it like this. All right. Some people like to do these things at home, guys. You may not like it, but some people like natural stuff. Trust me. And I noticed that. And then what you want to do? Mix it more like this. It's supposed to be like this. All right. I got my little jar, but I don't know where I put it. And then once you have it, you put it into your fridge. You cool it down, put it in your fridge, and last for at least a week. All right, let us continue to use it for a week. I got some little jar where I normally put things in her, but I don't know where I put them. So just to show you what I do. All right, then what you want to do? You know what I mean? You see, this is very effective and powerful, guys. All right, don't underestimate it and think. I just did it because I want to do something. It is something which is very effective, 100%. And it can help you at home. All right? As I say, trust me, you guys can go and also make this at home. Yeah, man. Tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. So I'm going to show you what, you what you need to do when you use it. The number one way. Just a second of it. Right. I see you guys need to know what I'm doing. Lovely. All right. So what you want to do to get a little bit, you can rub it anyway by your skin where you know you see some black spot or dark spot, whatever spot you see. Rub it on it like this. All right. Rub it like this. Now, I'm going to tell you something. If you ever feel the different when you rub it on your skin, you can feel the totally different when you rub it. So I'm going to say something to you. Don't feel any way. You might have said, this is only just rice. And when you're going to the supermarket and you buy something, you don't look at it or the stores. You buy it and you go home and you use it because you see everybody I do it. Wipe off your hand. All right. Like this. Once you put it on, you leave it for a couple of minutes. About 15 or some minutes. All right. Once you do that, then you'll get some nice, lovely olive oil or black seed oil. And rub on it like this. And you're going to feel, you see, you can feel the difference between year so and year so since I just rub it on. Just like this. Even you do this for a month. You're going to see different. But this video is a requested video and it is to send to one of my audience how they can make this at home for their skin. Beautiful and nice. Simple. All you need to do is boil off the, the banana peel and some rice. Drain it off, blend it up, and do a chef ricotta do. And you get this right here. Use it in by your face. Use it by your skin. Wherever you want to use it on your body. Wherever you see any little dark spot, like all anywhere. This part here always dark. Rub it on it. You know what I mean? Help to lighten down your skin and remove that wrinkle and, tight, and tighten up your skin. And you will see the difference in your 
in, in your skin at home. This is just some tips and ideas. As I say, I'm not a medical professional, but you guys can learn as we go on. You know what I mean? Every day we share new recipes and new ideas for you guys to make at home. All right? A good vibes. Anyway, I'm going to make my juice. As you already know, so today's um Tuesday. So I need to make the juice so you can sit back and enjoy the flight. All right, we're going to make a juice which never fail yet. Always protect you. The immune system from everything. Lovely, beautiful people, sir. Yeah, any question, you know exactly what to do. The chef recorder know, and we can give you some more tips and ideas of how to make certain things at home and make them work effective for you. All right, good vibes. So okay uh, i need to do this one guys forgot about this you know all right let's do this one all right number this one is the one i need to do from the other day for you uh so we got a few people i watch so let me just quickly run through this and do this for you guys Yeah, man. We're going to show now what you can do at home. So, don't go anywhere. Just stay right there. I got a recipe for you guys. Just get my strainer ready. Here it is, ginger. I need some ginger. Well, them ginger, I look dodgy though. <laughs> Chef Ricardo. Them ginger, I don't look right at all. We need an orange. And we got some turmeric and we got lemon also inside of it. All right. Yeah, man. Come on, guys. Please share the video. We're going to give you a recipe where nobody never seen before. Baking soda is a must. All right. I'm gonna have to do that, guys. Pour some of this water on it for my kettle. All right. Yeah, man. I'm gonna get. A lime inside of it. This is a brand new recipe from Chef Ricardo to you today. So we'll, let's jump straight into it. Watching from the US again. We got a lot of people from the US that support Chef Ricardo, you know. Why not send me a free ticket to fly? Come over there to visit you guys. I'm just very to come to the US. All right. I come and visit you know, guys to cook some. Real authentic. Um, I'll make some nice, lovely, healthy recipes, you know? Yeah. There. All right. Please like up the video and let's jump straight into this one. So, yeah. I might put some upper side of vinegar on that one. Oh, I got one pull already. God, this thing look dodgy, man. <laughs> These things look dodgy. I tell you. Opposite of vinegar, guys. Fry it up. Like we're making red label wine. 
See that? When you mix two things together. You see that? Look what's going on. Apple cider vinegar and the... Uh, what you call that thing? Um, baking soda. That's what you get. Yeah, man. Frying like chicken. Kill any bacteria, any pesticide, anything inside of that. All right? So this is a brand new recipe I'm going to share with you. All right. Let's wash off these things right here. Yeah. lovely beautiful people let's jump straight into it now and let's make it because you need a blender like this all right and we're going to show you what you need to do at warm all right we got half a lime right so far we're going to um Please write on the ingredients because you might need this in the future. We're going to use a lime also inside of it, all right? Now, the skin of the orange, we need it because there's a lot of natural and nutriment into it. So we don't want to throw with that bit, all right? Make sure you guys are writing on the ingredients. It is important, beautiful people. Write down the ingredients, them. It is important. We're going to use one lime, one orange with the peel. All right. Inside of it like this. You see that? That's what you need. Then also, we're going to put some fresh ginger inside of it. All right. That's the ginger we are put inside of it. Make sure you write on the ingredients, guys. Please write on the ingredients. Ginger. All right. And ginger again. I'm going to be using a lot of ginger. Now... And ginger again. Make sure you got a lot of things in the fridge and freezer because we don't know what's going to happen in a 2024. 2024 doesn't look like a year of productive year for a lot of people and a lot of things will be happening. So make sure to start out on a freezer. That's more ginger. We're going to get some turmeric. inside of it yeah there's a lot of things that are going on guys all right please like up the video guys and share the love and the respect anyway you see no matter what going on the father got still in control of everything and can't grow on god stuff for god create upon this earth you know but things not look bright down upon this earth right now make sure to keep an eye on the news Lots of turmeric. All right. Yeah, good vibes. So you see, I make sure I give you what you know are looking for. And these are recipe. All right. And what we're going to do, beautiful people, keep on in tune. Please like the video. And 
you know, I'll go any further before I go any further. Remember to get yourself a copy of the brand new book, From Poverty to Purpose. If you're not supporting Chef Ricardo Progress, you need to go and support me. Go over to my website, chefricardo.co.uk. Please follow me on Instagram. You know what I mean? Take a picture of the book when you buy it and send me on Instagram. Don't feel shy. You know what I mean? You can just, you don't have to send your face or anything. Hand shot. You see? You don't see the pilot when he's flying the plane. Good vibes. So, let's get some of my favorite. All right. Cayenne pepper, guys. I'm going to put a teaspoon of cayenne pepper in it. A little bit more. Keep it spicy, Chef Ricardo. All right. Yeah, man. Honey inside of it. Roughly a tablespoon of honey inside of it. All right. Apple cider vinegar. One teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Lovely. Put a few black pepper. Good vibes. Yeah, man. Make sure when I write on the ingredients, because it is free. Unless you've been getting lazy. You don't need to pay. All right, little bit of water. All right, that looking good. So you need a little bit of fat in it. So what you can do, put a little bit of olive oil or a little bit of olive oil. Roughly about half a teaspoon of olive oil. All right, the recipe is free. You don't need to pay. Because you know, no, remember, you know, when you go to the doctor, the doctor is going to tell yourself to go man, do this. So you need to say, you know what, I appreciate Chef Ricardo doing this. All right, yeah, right on the ingredients, them. It is important. All right, now let's cover it up, Chef Ricardo. Get one of this in the meantime, guys. Don't waste it. Let's blend. Thank you so much for purchasing the book. Wow. That looking good. The problem is, you know what I mean? It's washing up. I need a dishwasher. I'm going to have to get a donation for my audience for a dishwasher. Oh, yeah. I need a dishwasher, guys. All right. Here it is now, beautiful people. So what are you going to do? Pour it out like this. All right. And then this, 5% of this, going to eat, all right? yourself if it is like a little bit too thick then what we're gonna do is um rinse it out like that all right and then yeah man come on beautiful people what's going on like up the video
All right, let me see what I go on. Right. You don't have to throw away this, you can freeze it into your freezer, all right, guys? But I got a lot of this in my freezer right now. Can last till next year, 2026. All right. Now, This is how it look. Do you see a tick? Look at that. It's not ordinary like runny runny like water. Just a second, guys. All right, because I need to show now what I do. You need to sit back and relax for two minutes. I know you have to go to work. Tell your boss that this is important. That's telling us that Chef Ricardo is online. You're not going to say nothing. You're just going to say, okay. So, if your boss asks you, why are you late? Then I say, you have to, you know what I mean? Chef Ricardo was online. And you didn't got no choice. Excellent. Um... Let's get this one. I think is this one is the best to use. Are you guys, you need to see what I'm doing. Oh. You need to see this. And an amazing um, intro. All right, so this is how it look. Lovely. So let's pour it out into this one because this is how it's gonna be working much better in this one. All right. Yeah. yeah. That is just to get rid of the yellow in the meantime. I put them into soak. All right. Once you do that, we're going to be using this microchip right here. This is the microchip. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Oh, I didn't want to fool them up so much, you know. But that's fine. You better understand what I'm doing. It is for rainy day. You see, when time we kick off in our England, in our Europe, yeah, we got things in our fridge where we can just drop on quickly to look after ourselves. So make sure the you know, guys are freezing up all them things here yeah, and put them in the freezer for rainy day. Good vibes. I should have met more, but I just want to show you now what I'm been doing. All right, because I don't understand what's going on. It is coming. So what you want to do? Drink one of this when you make it. All right. Here it is. You want to just take a shot of this. Mm. Ah. Wow. Ah. <sighs> That is amazing. Mm. That is fantastic and an amazing. Um, Chef, are you going on any more program? Uh, I mean, any more? Um, oh no, all right. I will do one for you, man. You know, we will go already. Chef, we got the recipes. <clears throat> That one is really spicy. 
All right, just a second. Let me show you exactly what's going on. If I open the, the freezer, just to see if I have any in here. Oh, they finish. Oh. Don't got no more. All right. Normally, I got them in my freezer, you know. But, uh, I'm always making them. I got space for that thing. All right. Beautiful people, this is it. I love Vodo. And this is what I want to say to you. Make sure you know, guys are putting these things. Freeze them and keep them in your freezer. And then what them freeze, you put them in a hot water and drink it. In the morning, on an empty stomach. All right? So if you feel happy about this recipe, you don't have to put it in the freezer. You can drink this for one week straight. On an empty stomach. In the morning, on an empty stomach. Or in the afternoon. But, but if you are on medication, seek medical professional talk to your doctor all right we don't want you to take any anything too strong and messed up your your blood pressure if you have any kind of sickness or illness or you're on medication please i beg you to speak to your doctor chef ricardo is not a doctor and i'm not a professional i only do my own research and look upon things which is good for you it can help you and protect your immune system from you know what i mean falling to any little, you know, you get what I mean? Because the reason why I am here can show certain things, guys. Because a few years ago when I was sick and I went to the doctor, and the doctor said to me, Oh, Mr. Campbell, do you know you have high blood pressure? I said, Are you sure? He said, Oh, yeah. <laughs> and when he showed it, it was like, Hi. And I'm like, No, oh, man, I'm too young for that. And then I changed my diet. And I, I was going on YouTube doing a lot of research. How to eat healthy, how to do this. How to, I follow a lot of doctors and listen to what they are saying. And then I started to change my diet. Stopped to eat rice. And, you know, I never forget when, it, when the, the, the lady was saying, all you need to do is to change your diet. And, I'm bit, and I was say, okay. And I listened to her. And then the next time when I go back, she said, well done. Everything looking good. And then from that, I just changed my diet. He was saying, oh, yes, you can still eat certain things. You can still do this. You can still do that. And I said, okay, but uh, I just said, I've been eating so many things for years, man. Why not change it and start eat healthy? That's why you see I do a lot of healthy stuff. A lot of people might just think, why you just change from eating this and eating that? Because I used to cook rice and peas and chicken and beef and lamb and this and all sorts of stuff. But once I did go to the doctor, I never forget. And high cholesterol, high, high blood pressure hope. And I was like, oh, what? <laughs> no way. I'm not going to be doing that. <laughs> and I changed my diet. Start eat more vegetables. Start to eat more healthy. Start to looking after myself. Don't drink any alcohol. Don't do this. Don't do that. And start to make sure everything is on track. And you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what happened today no one then i will eat certain kind of food and if i go to london you know what i mean but when i'm home i don't got them in my house i don't keep them i don't keep nothing in my house except vegetables in the freezer uh the other day i brought some brown rice because i didn't want to do this because there's a little bit of benefit with brown rice if you like to have brown rice there's some benefit come with brown rice all right but white rice i'm not keen you know what I mean? I'm not keen on the um, no, fizzy drink. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Back in the days, like, way 20 years ago, I drink it, those drink, to be honest with you. But now, no way, man. I don't drink fizzy juice. I don't drink nothing. No diet. No supplement. No nothing. I try to keep the immune system flush out because what you eat 20 years ago will take another 20 years to come out of your body. So that's why I'm trying my best not to go back where you're coming from. You're going to have to move forward. But a lot of people might see wish rice as um, very bad. Well, um, 
you, to be honest with you, every rice is bad. Some people say wild rice is good, but um, if you you know what happened, to be honest with you, if you are at home and you are eating, oh yes, yes, is in big up yourself. If you're at home and you are eating certain kind of food, to be you know what I mean, you just don't overdo it. You know what I mean? Because some people have to eat because they have medication. But remember, when you eat rice, um, they have saying that when you cook rice or you put it into your freezer and take it out, it helps to kill the starch of the rice. So that's another way a lot of people talk about it. But you're going to have to eat about the rice so the starch may come back. So I don't know. But um, you, say you eat rice today, Monday or Tuesday. You don't eat rice until probably the next following week. But some people eat rice Monday, Tuesday, and then Thursday, Friday. All right? Yeah, rice turned into sugar. Definitely 100%. You understand? Yeah, but um, some people, they eat rice today and then tomorrow. And then they don't eat it. And then Sunday, Monday again. So that's why I say a lot of it's best for you not to just, you, just, you know what I mean? If you want... Because some people on medication and they have to eat food and then this is what they feel like to eat and it's all complicated and all these things. So, you know what I mean? Can you talk about the banana peel? You miss it. Okay. Um, the banana peel was just to tighten up your skin and to, and to, you know what I mean, rub on your skin and to remove certain kind of, you know, things on your skin and make you look more young and fresh and green like ripe banana or like green banana, I mean, sorry. So here it is. All right, this is how it look. So you want to, what you need to do, I got a video gonna come up for it. This is a live video, it's gonna be a long video, but I got a shorter version we'll be releasing. So what you wanna do is get one finger off right banana peel. You wanna use a peel and uh, roughly about four to three, four tablespoons of rice and a cup of water. Cook both of them together, strain it off, blend it up, then strain it. And then put some corn flour in it and some lemon juice. I got a shorter version because I pre record it. So I got a shorter version will be coming for you guys. Don't worry about that one. But let's touch base on what I was saying earlier about rice. And what you can eat at home. And how to be healthy and look after yourself. So you got a lot of people that work very hard. They have no time to do certain things. What they're doing take away monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday you know what i mean okay thank you first time tune in big up yourself all over the end of the not a billion thank you so much subscribe to the channel we got a lot of more tips and ideas for you we got recipe you can we got certain kind of ingredients can help you to remove a wrinkle and tighten up your skin and make you look 20 more years younger if you're even 65 or 70 once you rub it two or three times on your skin, you're going to be looking younger, looking more beautiful for 2025. All right? If you're 75, we drop you back to 50. You're going to be looking nice by the grace of God. You understand? Once you believe in God, you will look younger for the rest of your life. Now, this is the book. Get yourself a copy of the book and support the progress from poverty to purpose. Chef Ricardo's secret recipe to success. Do not miss out this one, guys. Yes. But as I said, this recipe where you see I'm making right here is to give you guys encouragement to do these at home. Put them in your freezer. And when you freeze it, you can use it at home to, um, to make tea in the morning. And this will help you with your immune system. Drink up a lot of apple cider vinegar, detoxing the body, cleansing the body. All right? A good vibes. So it's just a little tips and ideas. And as it goes on, you know what I mean? We can work on a lot of different kind of ideas and things for us to make at home. It's just to look after ourselves, guys. You know? Just to look after ourselves. I will do another video on this tomorrow morning on my food news. Follow me on my food news because sometimes I do some random video on my food news. And just to show, because food news is just, I just use it to do random stuff like tomorrow morning. I will pull two out of this or one and show you how to make a cup of tea from it because i'm gonna put it in my freezer now so by in the morning it's going to get ready a good vibes beautiful people thank you so much for watching one of the greatest thing you could ever hear for the rest of the year chef ricardo loves you and the second thing is
the almighty God who created you, love you more. So big up yourself wherever you are, underneath the earth, in the sky, in the moon, in the sun, in the water, wherever you are at this minute, on your computer, on your cell phone, at work, driving, whatever you're doing. My respect goes for you, and we pray that God will just protect you, guide you, blessing, prosperity, whatever you touch, it's going to be a blessing, and God is in your life for the rest of your life. So what more do you need? What do you have to just take care of yourself at home? Eat right, eat good, stay blessed, heroes, here's his him, big up on yourself. One thing I listened this morning on the TV, and I, and I said that was a positive message. The lady said, the doctor lady said, it is your body. You need to spend time and look after it. And it's the same thing I'm passing on to you guys. It is your body. You need to spend time and look after it. All right? Look after your body. Now, I mean, your flight go to Jamaica on first class flight. You're wasting your money. You better you donate the money to Chef Ricardo and make me buy more ingredients and support more people. All right? Buying a first class ticket goes somewhere is not looking after yourself. No, 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 no. Looking after yourself, it starts right in your kitchen at home, you and your husband, you and your wife, you and your kids, you and your family, whatever. That's where it starts. Empty your cupboard and get rid of the rubbish and put in good things. All right? Just like when you fix you buy a new house, and if the people move out of the house, you don't take the rubbish. You tuck them out and you put in new stuff. It's the same thing with your body. Chuck out the old rubbish out of your body and put in some new things. Good vibes. Big up on yourself. Stay blessed and stay healthy and look good for 2024 and 2025. A good vibes. See you next time.